Okay, so today we're going to look at how we can cast the screens from our mobile phone, whether it be an Android phone or an iPhone, to our Google TV. And when I say cast, I mean bring the screen from the phone to the Google TV so that we can see it on the big screen. This is handy if you want to show photos, say your holiday photos to your friends and family whilst they're around for dinner. You can all look at the photos together on one great big screen or you can share a website, say, to the screen as well. So if you're looking for something, if you're looking for a holiday with friends, then you can put it up on the big screen and all see it. Likewise, you can do it for YouTube videos as well and many other things. So stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video is going to show you how you can put the screen from your mobile phone onto your Google TV. Now, first of all, we're going to look at how you do that on an Android phone. Now on an Android phone, this is ever so simple. All you do is you just simply swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again. And we're looking at these buttons here at the top of the screen. And what you're looking for is you're looking for something that says mirror, cast, smart view, screen cast, anything like that. So you might find it's right at the very end of the icons, but have a look through these on the screen here. If not, you can swipe to the left and there you go. As you can see on mine, I've got a button that says screencast. Now, I must stress, you must make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi network as your Google TV and phone. So make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi and make sure that you are connected both your Google TV and your phone to the same Wi-Fi network. Then push this button here or push the cast mirror or view button. And then it should stay, say it's searching. And then hopefully after a few seconds, it should find your device. There you go. There's mine up the top there, the ONN 4K streaming box. So I just tap that. And then a little disclaimer comes up here. So I'm going to tap start now. And then hopefully, there we go, I can see my phone screen on my big screen. And I'm just going to make the camera a little bit smaller of my phone so we can see. So, so I'm just going to tap on photos just down there. And there you go. There's some photos there of my cat. Let's just go into one of them. And as you can see, there she is cleaning herself. So if I want the picture to be larger, as I've got the phone up this way, portrait, if I turn the phone landscape, there you go, the picture gets larger and I can swipe across. There's my photos on the big screen. So what if you want to do this, though, on an iPhone, a good old iPhone? Well, it's not that simple. But before I do that, I better show you how you can disconnect from the Android phone. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck in here for an eternity. So let's just uh, open up at the top of my screen on the phone. Let's just make this a bit bigger. I've got this here so I can swipe it over or I can tap on it and it comes up with uh, an option here to turn off the screencast. All I do is just tap the screencast button that's in blue. The other way of doing it is you can swipe down from the top of the screen. And if you see casting screen or mirroring screen come up, you can tap that. And then you've got an option there to stop the screencast or failing that. If you haven't got that, swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again and find the button that you use to turn screencast on and uh, push that and that turn it off. Or failing that, grab your Google TV remote and press the back button. And hopefully that should stop the casting. If it doesn't, then like I say, try one of those options on your phone or restart your phone or your Google TV. And that should stop. Mine's, mine's now stopped after I pushed the back button on the remote control. It took a few seconds, but it, it has now stopped. So going back to the iPhone. Now, if you've got an iPhone, what we need to do is we need to install a bit of software on our Google TV to do this. So I'm going to 
pick up my remote and I'm going to search for this particular app, AirScreen app. Results for AirScreen app. And uh, let's just make the camera a little bit smaller. And what I'm going to do is it's the very first one, the white with the green AS. Make sure that's highlighted, middle button, and the middle button again to install. Now this is now going to install, hopefully shouldn't take too long. Again, while that's installing, you need to ensure that the iPhone is on the same Wi-Fi network as your Google TV. So make sure it's not on 3G, 4G or 5G. Make sure it is on exactly the same network. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. Believe you me, the amount of headaches I've had when I've been trying to connect and then realized, actually, my phone's on different network uh, simply because I've got loads of different Wi-Fi networks in, uh, in my property. So it's now installing, hopefully shouldn't take too long. And once it's installed, what we need to do is we need to open up the app. Let's just uh, do that. Go down to open, middle button, and air screen will load. And it, we've got the welcome message here. So it says air screen can allow this device to receive screen mirroring, photos, music, videos, and other media, media from phones, tablets, and laptops via AirPlay, Cast, Miracast, and DLNA. So let's just middle button to click continue. So there you go. It says, please confirm the device that you want to share content already connected to the same wireless network as this device. So it says, click to get the network name. So let's just do that. And it says here, grant permission. Your air screen will need you to grant the location permission to display the currently active network. So let's grant it. And then it's come up here, allow air screen access to the device's location. So I'm going to say while using this app, so middle button, and hopefully in a sec, it will come up with the Wi-Fi name. It's just searching for it at the moment. I mean, I was saying location is off, but if you already know the Wi-Fi name and you should do, if, if, if you find it doesn't work, then just try different Wi-Fi's. But if you know the network name, then you're fine. So, OK, I'm going to press the middle button on the remote to confirm this. And then the next thing it's going to do is going to bring up this QR code, which what we need to do is we need to open up our iPhone, go into the camera. OK, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scan this QR code that's on the screen. And it's come up website QR code in Safari at the top. Tap that. And let's make the camera a little bit bigger. And there we go. It says, please share your connection with and this. And you might find that you get a, uh, a cookie notice come up. If you do, just go down to manage options and manage your options or if you're happy then go down across to consent let's just bring the camera up a little bit and here on the phone it's asking us do we want to share the entire screen or in-app content well let's just share the entire screen tap that okay the next thing we need to do is swipe up from the bottom of our phone and then we need to tap on this icon just here so let's just do that and there you go it's showing us the uh, the name which should match up with the name on the screen yes it does so let's just tap that and then hopefully in a second it should connect and there we go we can see that on there now this is something I've found has been a problem if I just come out of this screen and I go to my main screen. As you can see, the screen on my Google TV has got stuck. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the Photos app and I'm going to tap on one of the photos in there. And there you go. It actually now does come up on the screen. And if I come out of this, hopefully, yeah, we should see my iPhone screen. Although sometimes it does stick like it has done now. So if it does stick, then go back into photos or another app that you want to share. And hopefully that should work. So how do you disconnect once you've uh, finished with the connection on the iPhone? So just press the uh, button on the, in, in the middle or swipe upwards to get you back to this main screen. Swipe upwards or downwards again. And we're looking for this icon just here, the two boxes which is difficult for you to see. I know 
There you go, just those two boxes just there. Tap those, tap stop mirroring. We're back to this screen here. Now, sometimes you might see an advert come up after you've finished mirroring. Just uh, go back to the main home screen on the iPhone and then go back to the home screen on the Google TV. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if you did, why not consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel? Or have a look in the description down below where we've got loads of links down there for you. For instance, if you're in the market for a VPN or you want to have a look through my Amazon store or you're looking for a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, then we've got loads of great deals down there for you. Donating, buying and subscribing really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see a video whilst you're there that may interest your friends, your family or your work colleagues, then please share these videos on your social media timelines.